my name is Michelle Dyer, and I just have to note, I am not a financial advisor. Please consult one. And the views expressed here are strictly my own and do not reflect my employer. Credit score. FICO is the credit score most commonly used by lenders. So according to FICO, a uh, FICO score is a uh, just a determination of how likely you are to pay back the loan. So it's determined from data in your credit report your payment history, your use of available credit, and other factors. Go to MyFICO. They have a really good website on all of this. Payment history. Remember how I talked about on uh, my credit card how I have automatic payments set up for a little more than the monthly minimum? I just want to make sure that I never miss a payment because if you miss a payment, that's a ding in your credit report. So uh, use of available credit. Don't worry about this so much. Don't feel like you need to open more cards and close more credit cards. Actually, Susie Orman recommends once you pay off a credit card, just cut it up. You don't need to actually close the account. You can look into more of her books about that later. But yeah, use of available credit is one of the factors. There are three different credit bureaus, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. So annualcreditreport.com. That is the only place where you should go to get your credit report, according to Susie Orman. This is all her stuff. Federal law requires that you get one free credit report each year. So what you're going to do is you're going to get one free from each. So on January 1st, you're going to get your Equifax credit report to check it. Now, what are you checking for? You are checking to make sure no one else opened up a credit card in your name. You are checking to make sure that all the residences on the credit report or residences that you actually stayed at because every time you go and rent an apartment, that landlord goes to your credit report and checks your credit report to see if you're likely to pay your rent. So all of this is on your credit report. You'll be surprised what's on your credit report. Then on May 1st, you're gonna go pull your credit report from Experian. Then on September 1st, you're gonna pull your credit report from TransUnion. And then again, on January 1st, you're gonna pull your Equifax again. So basically you are checking for identity theft and you're, you're checking to make sure that everything is correct on your credit report. And what if you see, oh, it looks like I didn't pay my credit card bill a couple times on time last year. You are going to try to find ways to improve your credit score. The Actors Fund has classes on this as well, but this is kind of a little quick little overview on your credit score. So this affects you now, even if you're not buying a house or buying a car now, it does affect you when you're going to look for apartments and you never know what's going to happen 10 years down the road. So don't mess up your credit score right now.